when I see when I listen to music like this and I explore the art and I get lost in it myself, I think that's what I want this channel to be about for us to really listen to things of substance, appreciate the art, talk about deeper things, meaningful things. Hallöle Popöle, willkommen. Hey everybody, welcome. What's up my people? I am excited because we're going to check out a an artist from Germany and I can't wait to check this out. We are going to look into an artist named Anna Maria Hefele. She's a German overtone singer. She is from Grafing near Munich, supposedly. Multi-instrumentalist singer, overtone singer, performing worldwide as worldwide as a soloist with different ensembles and choirs. And I'm going to check out her polyphonic overtone singing. This is a video that was put out nine years ago on YouTube, and it has over 21 million views. And I've been sleeping on it. Um, shout out today goes to Kat and Judah. Thank you so much for sending me this and uh, encouraging me to check it out. I'm excited too. So without further ado, let's dive in. You, if, you're not, if you don't know what polyphonic singing is, it's basically where you can sing two or more melodies simultaneously in comparison to the textures where you just have one voice or one texture. Hello, I am Anna Maria and I'm an overtone singer and I'm going to tell you something about polyphonic singing today. Overtone singing is a voice technique where one person sings two notes at the same time. So this was the overtone scale on one fundamental. I can also choose an overtone and move the fundamental. <laughs> She's like, so that's, oh my gosh. Wahnsinn. Okay, it's awesome to see how this is more like just a demonstration of what polyphonic overtone singing is. I like that. Very educational. Amazing how she does this with her voice. But I love how she's just smiling like it's so nonchalant, like, yep, I just did that. And the rest of us are like, Poof. okay, wow. Pay close attention to those overtone notes. That's crazy, both with the basic fundament, with the, with the basic fundamental and when she's even singing different notes as part of the fundamental Want to sing wow a special melody and there are melody notes that don't fit to the overtone scale from one fundamental then i need to find another fundamental to sing this note and for that there are often different possibilities and i choose this fundamental that fits harmonically best with the melody line and for polyphonic singing, there are different possibilities to build scales and to move notes. So I can move the overtone with the fundamental in parallel. in steps or in smaller steps or even smaller I 
can also move the overtone and the fundamental in the opposite directions. <laughs> You have to listen carefully because it's almost like it's hard for me not to just focus on one of the the fundamental, for example, in this case. But then you hear almost what sounds like a subtle whistle. Oh, my goodness. I can also move the overtone and the fundamental in the opposite directions. scale also works in major. And with these tools I can sing for example fox songs in polyphonic solo voice. <laughs> Machine. She's so sweet. Wahnsinn. Oh my goodness. I had to pay close attention for some of those demonstrations just because the the simultaneous notes and melodies are so much higher and almost more whistle like sounding. She's like splitting her voice in half. Oh my goodness. Wahnsinn. Let me look at um, this song that she did by this river. Anna Maria Hefele and Florian Zack. Let's check it out just to get more of a feel for her singing. <laughs> Gänsehaut, I got goosebumps. She is playing the harp. She is singing two notes at the same time, right? That lower, what is it? The fundamental and then the melody that almost has like this whistle texture to it. All at the same time without flawlessly. What a talent. Beautiful. Through the day as if on a Gosh, the way that young man was just looking at that woman was so beautiful. You know, this is one of the things that I love about music. And I feel like we find this less if we are not consciously present to the art. When you just go through YouTube shorts and through Instagram reels and we're just swiping this culture we live in, or swipe culture as I call it, we, we when we are just listening to music on the radio or everything is just, you know, some type of trending viral sound on a TikTok video. So much is lost of the art. But then you have 
people who really appreciate and cherish the art, who dive into the lyrics, who are not afraid to get lost in the music, who are present to the art, to the experience, possibly easier done when you're at a concert, when you're in the room with the artist. But even if you're at home somewhere or in your car doing whatever, you're listening, you're cherishing it, getting lost. There's something so beautiful. And I feel like that's what's happening here. These people who have come to appreciate this art and this gift that this woman, this multi-instrumentalist and polyphonic singer has. That was beautiful. the accordion. I love how Florian is feeling the music too. That was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. Wow, guys, when I see, when I listen to music like this and I explore the art and I get lost in it myself, I think that's what I want this channel to be about, for us to really listen to things of substance, appreciate the art, talk about deeper things, meaningful things, you know. Um, it's crazy how, you know, there's just so many, so much we could talk about in this world and the algorithm will try to feed me things as well. And uh then I see the comment section and a lot of wonderful comments, but also sometimes so much stupidity <laughs> and a lack of emotional intelligence, it feels. Or I don't know what to categorize it as, but it's just social media and the Internet can be a wonderful tool, but it can also really destroy substance. And so it's just an awesome reminder for me listening to this to continue doing that, to continue enjoying the arts. And those who love that, fellow artists, fellow people of substance and depth, they will keep coming. So if you like this, make sure to subscribe, help me grow this channel. Let's bring life and truth and art and beauty to the world again. Let's use the internet for that. Anyways, I absolutely loved this. Thank you for the suggestion. What did you think, guys? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you on the next ride. Ayo! Ayo! <laughs>